Hey YouTube, this is Darren here, Northwest Marine, coming at you with a much needed updated video. What you're looking at here is my 75 gallon mixed reef. I've had this set up eh, maybe the last couple of months. I'm sorry for not um, coming out with some content before guys, but uh, the summertime I've been busy uh, with work and family and whatnot, so it, it's been a busy time. So. I am going to be doing my best to come out with a lot more content without having to wait six, seven, eight weeks. So I apologize about that. Anyway, like I said, I've had this tank set up a couple of months and uh, everything is going fine. And I develop um, cyanobacteria. So I went ahead and uh, added another power head here, and I'll show you that later on in the video to get some more air, more water flow rather. And uh, I've just done a, a couple of pretty good water changes and added a uh, Aquamax hang on the back skimmer too, which is helping export some my nutrients. We'll just take a look at the system here right now. Starting over on the left hand side, I've got a uh, aquaculture blue blue clam. He's probably about two and a half, three inches. I got him from a fellow reefer a couple hours away and uh, he's been in that spot here for a little bit. Seems to be doing fine. And over here I've got this A-can. Now I had him on the other side with a couple other A-cans and one of my torch corals fell off the rock work and uh, it stung the heck out of my A-cans and killed them within a one night's period so I was pretty bummed out about that so I moved him over here for now and coming up on the rock work here I've got a orange dendro now I bought this with two heads on it and you can see now I've got one two three four five and one in the middle right here this is six so this thing's doing really well over here along with this one I just got done feeding them So they seem to be fairly happy over here. And my Duncan's over here on the left side. I've also got a uh, LA Lakers scroll coral. And a green Hydnophoria. And coming back down on the rock work here, I've got this Cyphastria, uh, which is doing pretty well over here along with my candy cane coral here. Now I started off with about six heads on there and this thing is finally starting to grow and it seems to be liking the position that it's in. And down on the sand bed right here, I picked up this Lobophilia about three or four weeks ago. It's doing pretty well down here. And when I was at my LFS, I picked up this Christmas Favia. And coming off to the right here, I've got a uh, metallic red brain coral. I've had this guy here for about two months since I had this tank set up. And over here, I've got my Euphelia garden. This teal hammer here has actually grown quite a bit. And alongside of it, I've got a green splatter hammer. I got this from my LFS that was the last one they had and I decided I got to have it. And it's almost doubled in its size. Now look at the iridescent green on it. It's really doing well over here. And right behind it I have a couple more. I've got uh, a gold hammer over here and another green. as well as this guy right here. He's really doing well up on the rock work. I also have this green toxic Monty. So I'm hoping to see some growth here. Like I said guys, um, I've got some uh, cyanobacteria here. I reached out to uh, Melef's Reef and uh, talked to Mark Levinson and I picked up some CyanoRx so that should be here in a couple of days. I did a couple of uh, large water changes on here 
and I created some more water flow in the back and I'll show you here in a minute. I decided to go ahead and place a couple of my uh, torches over here. This is a tricolor orange torch which is probably gotten about half an inch larger since I've had it. And over here is a well-cut blue tip orange torch. Um, when the blues run it at night it's really really pops with some color. And over here I've got a uh, pipe organ. This guy has actually grown quite a bit. I've got it on the top of this rock work right over top of my zoas right here. Also coming down in here I've got a uh, Jason Fox jack-o'-lantern leptoceros. as well as some assorted zoas I have over here. This is a, uh, one of them I just picked up was a blue hornet. Some of the pops have a seated in right now, but they were have some nice extensions on them. So basically powering the, the tank, I've got a, uh, a couple of J-BAL PP4 power heads. I've got them kind of propped up here so I can get some more gas exchange here. So I've got some rippling at the top of the water. I've got another one over here too on this side. So kind of got some linear flow going on. As far as filtration goes, I've got an AquaClear 110 hang on the back filter that I'm running just the sponge in here right now and I'm running some Seachem Pond Matrix underneath it to help with nitrates. Now I reached out to Marine Depot and just picked up this Aquamax hang on the back 1.5 and this guy is uh, doing pretty well so far it took about a week to dial it in it was skimming pretty wet so I've got it adjusted fairly well. Well I've got kind of a, a lot more drier skim. Yes, you're looking at Seahawk country. <laughs> and as far as lighting goes, I'm just running a 32-inch uh, Evergrow light. I'm hanging it around uh, about 12 inches off. Nice Chinese made light. It's got three fans over top of it. So it's keeps it cool. And the corals seem to be adapting fairly well with it too, so anyway, it's a a pain with this red cyano, but um I Hopefully we'll eradicate this. Hopefully one treatment will do, and if it doesn't, I will go ahead and uh, I'll hit it again. Also, you notice there's no fish in right here. So what had happened was I went to my local fish store and picked up a, a piece of rock out of their sump because I wanted a different strain of bacteria. They said it was clean. Little did I know that my, actually their tank was crashing. I put this rock in here, and about two weeks later, I picked up some marine velvet. I know this is the second time I've been introduced to this. It's really messed up. So I'm letting the tank sit fallow. It's been like this for about about a month now. So I'll let it sit like this until the end of September. And I've just got some shrimp in here right now. A couple of fire shrimp and a and I've got a cleaner shrimp right here. So for increased flow, I went ahead and added a MaxiJet 1200. I just turned it upside down with a strainer up, and I've got shooting across the back of the tank. So hopefully that'll that'll help me with some more flow. But this cyano was really some nasty stuff, so I'm trying to stay on top of it. So on the forgot to tell you on here's another Lobo I've had for I've had this guy for about a year now he's doing well since I've had him in this tank 
And I almost forgot to show you my Space Invader Pectinia. I was surprised with the, uh, the tentacles, how far they came out on this guy. They probably come out about probably two to three inches. You can see one right there. Seems to be doing well. It's starting to encrust on the frag plug. So I'll probably keep them down here for a little while longer until I uh, move these guys out of this tank. Anyway, guys, just wanted to kind of show you what I've been doing the last uh, couple of months. And like I said, I'm sorry I haven't got any content out here until now. If you like this, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, feel free to leave me some comments. I always welcome those. So I will call that a, a wrap for now. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one.